Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you well. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, thank you for subscribing. So I really wanted to kind of get back to some Christina and I really enjoyed the first track I listened to, which was Is That All There Is, which was a cover of, well, sort of a cover of um, Peggy Lee's classic um, version. Um, and I think I did that for Halloween and that was a while back. So this track is called What's A Girl To Do? And it was taken from a 1984 album uh, by Christina called Sleep It Off. Um, I think this was supposed to have been a single, but I think it may be flopped. And I do believe it is possibly the last single she ever released. Um, I don't know too much about Christina. Uh, Christina Monet, I think her name is. But um, certainly, definitely got this kind of quirky performance. Um, she feel, feels more more of a performance than a a singer, really. Uh, it's hard to kind of explain, but you kind of imagine that if you was to see her on stage, she'd be she would have been more like, say, Laurie Anderson than just a bog standard singer. Um, so yeah, without further ado, because I'm just babbling on. Let's have a listen to uh, Christina, um, What's a Girl to Do from her album, Sleep It Off. So far, I'm really enjoying the kind of beats on this. Uh, it's really funky, and uh, uh, and by guy, these are great lyrics so far. If not a little bit dark, um, a little bit brutal, kind of feels like somebody's living a hedonistic lifestyle. Uh, maybe they're not really that um, receptive to lifestyle of others. It's all about them living in the moment and. Uh, there, yeah, yeah. I think at some point, in a very microscopic way, uh, a few of us have been there. Um, yeah, really interesting song. Great beat. behind 
Okay, so that was um, Christina and uh, What's the Girl to Do? And that's taken from a 1984 album, Sleepy Off. I uh, don't know too much about that album uh, or very other many tracks that she's done. But I really did uh, enjoy this. The lyrics are kind of really ex absorbing but quite dark and um, and I'm not, I'm not really kind of sure where they, where she was going with her life in the song. But it kind of felt from the very first verse that she was maybe looking to, um, she was coming to the realisation that uh, life was actually kind of going down a pan. So I'm going to jump into these lyrics and see if I can pick them to pieces. And by the way, it was, um, I really enjoyed the beat all the way through. Um, it felt quite, what's the word? The music kind of gave you that feeling of disorganisation and, and, and hecticness uh, as if one moment just switched into another moment, into another moment. Um, when you have like too much going on in your life, that's what it kind of felt about the music. Um, so yeah, the lyrics. Um, my life is in a turmoil. My fires are black and blue. My sheets are stained and so is my brain. What's a girl to do? I passed out with a novel or a needle in my hand. So element of drugs, uh, fast living. I passed out with a ragdoll and I passed out with a man. I wonder if that's, uh, I passed out with ragdoll is like a childhood thing. So being so, being a 22, I think she says later on, she's 22. Um, so a 22 year old thinks that she's living the life of of a woman but she's still a little bit of a child inside so one minute she's passing out with a rag doll in her arms and next minute she's passing out with a man and it's like when the, the child becomes the woman and she doesn't really kind of maybe know how to handle it because she's already taken two steps far to the to the right and and her life is kind of slowly going off the rails i say my Three Hail Marys, I dearly paint my face, my friends decay around me, and I view them with distaste. So see, she kind of sees her friends who are probably living a steadier lifestyle, maybe have jobs, um, partners, um, a home, and she kind of sees that as slowly dying along death, and possibly when they retire from work in all their life, they won't have much life left to live. Um, well, some girls have a mission and some girls have their work. Some marry with precision and some just dish the dirt. So, so again, then maybe this is like a hint towards these friends where she's, she's kind of weighing up what they have done. Um, some girls that she knows have, have married people because they're looking for that security. It's a tactical thing. Um, and perhaps they like the person they've married with. Um, you'd think so, but... Um, sometimes it's maybe not the case. People marry into money um, with with a plan and an agenda. Um, it says, and some just wish, some just dish to dirt. So um, and once I had a lover, and once I had a profession, and once I laughed at nothing, and I called it depression. So clearly, the personality of her uh, in this song is somebody that can go from being quite proactive and progressive and then kind of like falling off the edge um maybe they kind of they can't control those aspects of their mental health that uh we that would be professionally labeled as maybe kind of bipolar or uh, a, a certain form of depression i've tried dancing up and down the wrong side of a track and I've watched on the right side or just laying here on my back. I think I'll quit while I'm behind now I'm 22. My sheets are stained and so's my brain. What's a girl to do? I mean, you could look at this uh, at face value and say she's narcissistic. Um, she lives a hedonistic lifestyle. Um, she kind of knows she's going off the rails, but she'd rather be living the life she is then be dying a life of maybe boredom that she perceives people's careers or their relationships to be like one of um, boredom that she'd rather be doing this kind of lifestyle 
even though it's probably going to damage her in the long run. I'm just kind of looking again, uh, this was written in the 1980s, so perhaps this is a social commentary on lifestyle in the 1980s, the early 1980s, um, power, uh, money, um, power, sex and money. Um, I think a lot of women were beginning to excel in, in the workplace as to kind of rise up uh, the ranks and um, challenge men with um, their earning capabilities and this kind of feels like um, those types, she f I feel like she's maybe thinking about a little bit about what it was like to be a woman in 1983, 84 and possibly 83 when this song uh, was written um, and actually just looking, she, this was written by, it was written by Christina, oh, with Don Was and Barry Reynolds. So it's kind of written, but it does feel like it's very much from a, the, the female perspective and which makes it all the more impressive actually that there's co-writers on this to, um, and they managed to capture that sense of, of, of uh, a woman who's, who's, who's caught between wanting to do the right thing, have a career, a profession, um, get some power but she kind of chooses to, to, to maybe chase her own version of power by um, doing all the things that she feels she has the power to do in her life which is uh, drugs, um, maybe she's unemployed but she chooses to do that and she chooses her men when she wants a man um, so she kind of maybe feels that she's got some power but that other people have a different kind of power that she finds a little bit boring. Um, so yeah, maybe it is a social commentary on the early 80s, uh, I'm not so sure. But um, yeah, very good song, I really enjoyed that. So I don't know whether she's ever performed any of these tracks. I'd love to kind of find a live performance of Christina, but you know, I'm happy with what I've heard so far of these two tracks. And I'm not entirely sure how many albums she's had. But if clearly if this was her last track, I think her maybe her first track was originally in 1980. So it's only like a span of about four years. But yeah, I enjoyed that, guys. Let me know what you think. Join me in the comments below, and uh, for sure I'll I'll have I'll always read your comments, and um, I'll have more reactions for you real soon. So have a great day. Um, if you're kind of living in the UK and it's bank holiday. Um, I'm really really sorry about the weather um, but I'm sure next week we'll kind of like cheer up a little bit and we'll have a bit of um, maybe some inkling of summer is just around the corner who knows so yeah speak to you all soon take care